Yep, this is the mess in the studio. That's where things going. Now I'm just gonna make some little short before and after pictures. I mean, uh, videos. So, all right, we're getting ready to get started. It's about 11:30 p.m. Getting ready to redo tracks for a sound lab, the home studio for MTS Music Group, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. In a minute, peace, DJ Sean Legend. Well, I'm making a little bit of headway. Still got a big conglomerate of mess over here, but I'm getting it. My wife's Eiffel Tower. That's going to be the Paris section. It's kind of like the lounge dining area. <laughs> Sorry for the fast zoom. I'm tired in the mug. It's early as heck in the morning. I've been up uh, about all night, but total of probably three or four days just trying to get this together my late mother-in-law on the wall yeah. that's a big mess tubes and water and shit the MV over there covered up when I get through man it's gonna be real nice though because I know my wife is gonna kill me if I don't hurt and get this shit out of her living room <laughs> but anyway y'all just want to Give you an update, DJ Sean Legend. To be kind of peace. Alright, just about finished. I'm gonna cut the lights off so y'all can see everything. Still ain't got my keyboard section together yet. But, as you can see, keyboards are still right here. Turntable still right there. It's got a little bit more to go. I done got tired. But anyway, I'm going to hit the lights. Studio looking pretty damn good, I might say. Pro Control in full Vegas mode. Yes, sir. Well, I, y'all, DJ Sean Legend, I'm out. Peace. Well, I'm back with the final stages, and this is it. Pro Control, 24 channels at the moment. I got another fader pack of eight coming, and it'll be a 32 channel board. Of course, we got my little rack emulation over there with the Behringer Ultra Game Pro, uh, EQ2 Pre. Um, the Digidesign Sync I.O. Word Clock and the Samsung S Phone Headphone Preamp and this is my little white power unit at the bottom. Sound system is powered by um, Digidesign 192 of course the Macro, the late 2008 model and of course the KHL or KLH subwoofer. Here we got two Yamaha HS80s. On this side, we got the uh, on the top the Roland VSIM GT. That's my house. And then the other workhorse, the Roland Phantom G8, my baby. Both of them are my babies. Then of course the Sterling ST66 microphone. 
and those headphones are by this company called Monoprice. Check out monoprice.com. They got some nice stuff. Um, of course, I got some stuff on top of the MV8800 along with my trusty ashtray. Um, I take him out when I'm doing mostly my R&B joints. I also have a MPC 4000 that's over in the cut by the turntables. That's my hip hop beat maker. Then of course we got faders. Pro control in full Vegas mode. I run literally everything you can think of software wise. My main weapon of choice for beat making is actually two. One is first off Pro Tools HD10, running a full HD rig. Um, I think I have a core card and six Excel cards. Yeah, I have six Excel cards and uh, I guess it would be an HD7 maybe, something like that. Well, anyway. Um, also use MPC software, the MPC Studio, MPC Renaissance, and of course Machine. Um, of course, Contact is is uh, one of the instruments I use amongst Nexus, uh, Silith One, um, Synth One. I got some dope presets with Synth One. If y'all want them, hit me up. I got you. Um, man, I use everything. I got all kind of VSTs. Uh, that I use uh, I got everything you can think of for Mac and PC I have another studio in the other room uh, with the iCore 7 uh, Windows machine super sick 3 monitor I call it the 3 monitor Mali but um, yeah well anyway this is your fave DJ Sean Legend and I'm about to sign off thank you for checking out the video of my studio here at Tracks R Us Sound Lab a division of MTS Music Group. The only thing we have left is to put the turntables in and uh, we're good to go. Peace.